Chess and money are not really two topics that are discussed together. Chess is known to be a competition where only a few people get to really make it as a career and even make good money. And for that, you have to win a few tournaments and also be a grandmaster. So we're talking being amongst the top people in the world. But today, with the rise of chess, sponsors and social media, it is a bit easier to make some cash with this game. So in this video, we will be talking about the chess players that made the most money in 2023. This year was a big year for Magnus Carlsen, as he was the first chess player ever to pass the 10 million dollars in lifetime earnings from major tournaments alone. We're not talking about sponsorships, side businesses, appearance fees or any other side income. Magnus Carlsen is officially the all-time leader for the most money made from tournament winnings in chess history, surpassing Vichy Anand after making $700,000 in 2023. I mean Magnus Carlsen just keeps on winning and he doesn't know how to stop. But Carlsen wasn't the highest earning player of 2023 however, he was third after earning $705,000 participating in 15 major events. Now let's take a look at the top 10 chess players that made the most money in 2023. At number 10, we have Grandmaster Noderbeck that made $190,000. Just above him, we have woman Grandmaster Lee making $257,000 after only participating in three major events. That's all thanks to the $500,000 World Championship in July, where Grandmaster Zhu Wenjin, who is a bit higher on the list, defeated Grandmaster Lee. Then at number 8 and 7, we have a Grandmaster Maxime Vachier Le Graf and Hikaru Nakamura, making $282,000 and $284,000 respectively. Now of course in total, Hikaru Nakamura probably is higher up in the list due to his sponsorships and his content creation. He is estimated to be worth almost 50 million dollars according to multiple sources, making him one of the wealthiest chess players of all time. But this list is from pure tournament winnings, so for 2023, he sits at number 7. Number 6, we have the second woman grandmaster on the list and it is Zhu Wenjun that made $354,000. 250,000 of those came after winning the $500,000 World Championship in July. And at number 5, we have Wesley So, that made just a bit below 400k at $395,000, participating in 17 major events in 2023. Now our top 4 highest earning chess players are the only 4 players that were able to bag more than half a million dollars in tournament earnings in 2023, with the number 1 making 1.2 million dollars, even though he only played in 2 tournaments. But before we reach the highest earned player, we have Fabiano Caruana at number 6, earning $638,000 participating in 18 events, the most out of all the people on the list. At number 3, we have none other than Magnus Carlsen, earning $705,000, almost 200k more than what he did in 2022. This year's earnings for Magnus put him at a total of $10 million earned in all-time tournament earnings, making him the first chess player to ever do so. Now who were the top 2 and only 2 players that made more than a million dollars in 2023 you ask? At number 2, we have Ian Napomniachi, making $1,226,000 after participating in 13 events. This was a big year for Ian. In February 2023, he reached the world's number 2 position and his current rating of 2,780 as well as playing in the finals of the World Chess Championship but losing to Ding Luren. Even though Ian lost the finals, he still made $1.2 million in tournament winnings and I am sure he is quite happy now having fun with his money. And now we have the top 1. The highest earning chess player of 2023 and it is none other than world champion 2023 Ding Liren, earning $1,228,000, just 2,000 more than Ian. Despite only participating in two major events this year because he fell ill, winning the $2 million world chess championship put him right up at the top of the list in terms of earnings in 2023, becoming the first ever world champion from China. Just having two players make over a million dollars in a whole year in chess really shows just how much the game lacks the funding and the potential for a career, even with all the boom and rise of chess that happened in recent years. I mean, your chances of making a million dollars are way higher if you start a YouTube channel than play chess because you have to be a world champion or a runner-up to make that amount of money from tournament earnings. But the all-time earnings list however looks a bit different. We can really talk about big numbers when we talk about the all-time tournament earnings in chess. So here is the list of the top 10 highest earning chess players of all time strictly from tournament earnings. At number 10, we have Levin Oronian, making $2.9 million. Number 9 is Fabiano Caruana, making $3.1 million in total. Number 8 is Veselin Topalov, with $3.3 million. Number 7 is the legendary Bobby Fischer, that made $3.5 million in his whole career. Number 6 is Ian, with a total of $3.6 million earned. Number 5 is Vladimir Kramnik, that earned $4.7 million in his career. Number 4 is Anatoly Karpov, who made $5.9 million just below Garry Kasparov, that made almost $2 million more than him, with $7.9 million. And the top 2 players that made the most amount of money in history of chess are Magnus Carlsen and Vichy Anand. 
and Nand was at the top of the list for a while, but 2023 was the year it changed for him, and he dropped to number 2, having earned just 23k in 2023. Anand sits at the number 2 spot with $9.4 million earned in his career, and Magnus Carlsen again goes on the top, earning almost $705,000 in 2023, and he sits at the number 1 spot, passing Anand with a total earning of $10.1 million. In 2023, Carlsen was able to win the Fiji World Cup title, Chess.com's 2 million champions chess tour, the World Rapid Chess Championship, and the World Blitz Chess Championship. Only 27 players in the history of chess have made a million dollars or more in chess from tournament earnings, which really shows the game needs a quite a big boost. But 2023 was a big year for chess, and we can't wait to see what 2024 holds.